Alzheimer's disease affects so many, and right now there's not much patients can do about it. But here in Little Rock, work is being done that could change that. THV 11's Carter Thweet tells us what's been accomplished. Here at the Donald W. Reynolds Institute on Aging, UAMS researchers are hopeful they've made a breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's and dementia. But they still have more trials to go before it can be called a complete success. So we, we were looking up some of the drugs uh, that are already FDA approved. One of those drugs is azetamide, which is already used to lower cholesterol. But these three researchers at UAMS say they've discovered some other possible benefits. The 4,400 or so uh, patients in the database who were taking azetamide just to lower their cholesterol had uh, only one-eighth of the uh, incidence of Alzheimer's and related dementias. They say it works by breaking up proteins that tend to clump together in Alzheimer's patients. And as its FDA-approved status shows, the drug is safe. The azetamide is the drug which is benign, very safe, has less side effects, and uh, it can be given as preventative. And not only that, researchers think it could be a huge improvement over any treatments currently available. They at best have like a 25, 30 percent efficacy. This that is, they reduce reduced the incidence of Alzheimer's by 25, 30 percent. We're talking about an 86, 87 percent reduction. But the work isn't done yet. This study was done by analyzing a database of adults taking azetamide. Now the researchers hope to continue their testing with more specific experiments. We have applied for a grant uh, where we can do clinical studies on the same drug where we treat the patients with azetamibe and see how that goes. In Little Rock, Carter Thweet, THV 11 News. The researchers said they're particularly excited about the use of the drug for heart disease patients since heart disease is a known risk for a risk factor for Alzheimer's. Now, for more information, you can visit our website, teach11.com.